Hello, everybody. <laughs> everybody, get closer, get closer. We're gonna start there. We have a seat right here, okay? Get closer, guys. Welcome, guys. So, uh, my name is Kohei. Uh, I am from Japan, Tokyo, Japan. Uh, I'm an international ambassador singer. Like, I play music at the anime conventions, Japanese festivals. And also, a couple of years ago, I recorded a song for Aniplex Japan. So my song is on anime called Tokyo 24 Words. Also, last couple months, I was working with uh, yeah, BMG uh, music company. So I recorded seven songs. My song is still confidential, but my song is going to be on the Japanese video games, yes. And then today, uh, I have a concert at the Casper Contest, also 8 to 9, 8 p.m. I have a concert outside. But today, uh, right now, what we're gonna do, I'm, go I'm going to explain to you guys about the history of Japanese anime. Who loves Japanese anime here? Yes, 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 yes. thank you, thank you. So, but anime, actually, we don't, you know, we, the history of Japanese anime is actually, the, the, it's not that long, it's not that long, it's not that long. So this is not anime, this is not common. So before anime, you know, those creators, like, you no, know, this is from maybe like Edo era, you know, long, long time ago, 400 years ago, but people are, you know, uh, drawing something. So this one, you can tell, like, you know, these are, uh, you know, Japanese Mongol, you know, samurais, like they're doing something. So th those pictures are actually explaining about, you know, their life. But this, these are not anime. These are not Japanese manga, not, not yet. So very first anime was actually created by, his name is Osamu Tezuka. So 1963. So 1963, that was the very first anime started, okay, 1963. So, Osamu Tezuka started this one. Yeah, anybody knows? Yes, Astro Boy, yes, exactly. So Astro Boy is the very first anime, okay, very first anime. So 1963, Osamu Tezuka started Astro Boy. But you know what? Before Astro Boy, Osamu Tezuka, he got inspired by American cartoons. So he watched American cartoons and he was like, oh my God, this is so nice, this is great. So why should we have our own cartoon? And then he started, you know, this, Astro Boy. So, which was very first anime, okay? So this is 1963. So Astro Boy, this is also Tezuka. And also we got another, another creator called Akatsuka Fujio. Anybody knows him? Anybody? Nobody? So, yeah, he's, a, he's old too. So before Tezuka, after Tezuka, this guy showed up. So, Osamu, uh, Akatsuka Fujio, his like, anime is like more comedy style. So Osomatsukun, like one of his like, you know, popular, you know, popular anime. Osomatsukun came out in 1967. And also Bakabon came out in like, 1971. Maybe like, you know, most of you guys here don't know about these. But they were, bo they were so popular before Dragon Ball Z, before Naruto. So this is, a, this is the beginning of Japanese anime, okay? The very first anime, like I said, Astro Boy, 1963. 1963, okay? And then Bakabon and also Osamatsukun came out. 1960, uh, 1967, like four years, four years after Astro Boy. Four years after. Four years after Asher Boy, okay? And then, check this out. Anybody know this one, Sazai-san? Nobody knows? This is like a family style, you know, Japanese anime yeah, called Sazai-san, yeah. So, Sazai-san so popular in Japan, 1960, uh, 1969, Sazai-san came out. And then, after this, 1971, Lupin III. Anybody, anybody seen this one? Oh, good, 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 good. Some of you guys know, yeah. Lupin III came out, okay? Yes, and then this one is very popular, but maybe most of you guys don't know. Draymond. So before Dragon Ball, this one was so popular. You know, I remember when I was this little, you know, I used to watch this, you know. Draymond is like a robot, like from the future. You see the pocket right here, right? So that pocket is a magical pocket, like have 
that inside of the pocket, thousand of items. So he's from the future, and the main guy whose name is Nobita. Nobita is very weak boy. He's weak and he's always crying. He got bullied all the time. But somehow Nobita met Draymond, and Draymond came from the future. So what's happening there is whenever Nobita has a problem, Draymond always helps him with his you know, interesting, like an exciting item. So those items coming from his pocket, so dry them. Yeah, it's, I would say, one of, one of the you know, masterpieces of Japanese anime, yeah, definitely. So dry came out in 1979, same era, you know, same year, this one, Gundam. Anybody know Gundam? Yeah, yeah, Gundam is also was popular too, yeah. So, yeah, Gundam is like, you know, it's all about drama, like, you know, it's, it's all about war. What happened was like, you know, and people in the earth, they polluted earth. So some people, they decided to move to another planet. They found another planet. So they, they start living there. But what happened was people found that, you know, uh, the planet and those uh, people still in the earth, they still, they, they start fighting because people in the earth, they were like, I want that planet. So that's how they start fighting. So Gundam, yeah. This one is also an interesting one too. And then after Gundam, we got, you know, Macross, you know, Macross is also, you know, popular anime back in the days, in 1982. Gundam came, came out in 1979, and Macross came out in 1982. And then uh, after this, this one, Kin Nikuma. Anybody knows? Oh, good, good, good. Kin Nik means muscle, okay? Repeat after me. Kin Nik. Yes, everybody, repeat after me. Kin Nik. <laughs> A little bit louder. You, you're doing great. You're good job. Everybody, repeat after me. Kinnik. Good job, good job. So Kinnik Man, what does that mean? Kinnik means muscle man, yeah. So we got muscle man here, okay? So I know, I know you guys got, I know you guys got, check this out. I know you guys got Spider-Man. I know you guys got X-Men, but we got Kinnik Man, okay? Kinnik Man. Also, we also got Ramen Man. Who loves ramen? Good, 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 good. Good, you know, ramen's so popular in America right now, right? Yeah. So we got Ramen Man, yeah. But, you know, he does Kung Fu. You know, he does Kung Fu. So Ramen Man. Ramen Man came out like in 1988. And then, this one. Do you know Dr. Slump Arachan? Arachan. Who, oh, you don't know? Who's, who is the creator of Arachan? Yes, Akira Toyama, who said that? Good, good, good. Who, who, who is, who is Akira Toyama? Who, you know, who he is? Who is he? The yes, the creator, creator of Dragon Ball Z, yeah, Akira Toriyama. So, 1986, Arachan, Toriyama Akira, he studied Arachan, but, after same year, actually, he started Dragon Ball Z. So, 1986, Akira Toriyama started Arara-chan, Arara and also Dragon Ball. So, you know, the reason why he, he was doing two animes in the same time, he thought he can handle it. He can handle it. But what happened was, Dragon Ball just became super popular. Yes. Yes, and you're willing up Vegeta? <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah, and yeah, what happened was, yeah, yes, yeah, crazy, it's crazy. So Dragon Ball like started in 1986, right? So, you know, Dragon Ball just became super popular, not only in Japan. They have become popular in the US and South America and also Europe talk, Europe too. So, you know, Akira Toyama is so, you know, he's a smart guy. So what, what he did, like he showed us like power level, power level. So power level, you know, when like Piccolo showed up, you know, he kind of like start like, you know, showing us like power level. So, you know, Goku and, you know, Piccolo fought, right? They fought and Goku win. And then, you know, at the time, their power level was 400, 400 almost tight, you know, their, their power level was almost same. But what happened is, after this, Raditz, Goku's bigger brother showed up. You know, at the time, Raditz, he, they said, Raditz's power level is 1400. 1400, that means way stronger than Goku and 
pickle, right? They are just 400 each. But right it is like 1400 or could be like 1600 or 1800. So we were like, wow, he's so strong. But what happened made us so excited. I still remember, you know, Goku and Pico just like team up, you know. They became a team, like they help each other, you know. That made us so excited, you know. And then, yeah, they won, they won, yeah, they won, yeah. But what happened was Piccolo died, you know. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. At the time, Goku died, <laughs> Goku died, yeah, Goku died. And then after this, we were so shocked, we were so, yeah. We were so shocked because those two guys came. Nappa and Vegeta. So Nappa, his power level is 4,000. 4,000 means Nappa is way stronger than Raditz. Raditz was 1,400, right, 4,000. And Vegeta, he is like 12,000, 12, uh, 18,000, 18,000. So their power level was so strong, and then what happened was so shocking. We were so, we were so surprised and we were so shocked. Because what happened was this, Yamcha died. <laughs> you know, usually like those main, main characters never die in, in anime or in a movie, right? So you know, Yamcha died, I was like, whoa! We didn't expect that you know, Yamcha, Yamcha was going to get killed. And what happened was, yeah. Charles died too. He did a suicide bomb, but it didn't work. And then, yeah, and then, Ten also got killed. Oh my God, never happened in Dragon Ball. Like so many characters got killed, you know? And then, yeah, next one is so shocking. Pico died, you know? Pico got killed. Oh my God, who can, who can, who can, who can kill those two guys, Nappa and Vegeta? And, but you know, Goku came and Goku killed uh, Nappa and Goku won, right? But what happened was Piccolo, he, he, he got killed. So the person who created Dragon Ball, who's that? Do you guys know? Yes. Yeah, Kamisama, yeah. Kamisama, who is God in the earth, right? So Kamisama used to be one person, but you know, when he was training, he had to, you know, get rid of his, you know, dark side. So dark side was actually Piccolo, right? So Piccolo and the God, the Kamisama, they, they separate, like, they became like two different people. And then, yeah, but somehow they are still connected, so related. So if, if one of them died, uh, other one also died. So that's why, you know, Piccolo died. When people, Piccolo died, Kamisama also died. So that means they lost Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball disappeared. You know, always Dragon Ball, you know, uh, uh, solve the problem. Whenever somebody passed away, you know, they could like bring, bring, them, back, bring, bring them back, you know, using, uh, using uh, Dragon Ball. But at the time, they had no Dragon Ball. So they were like, what should we do? What should we do? So then they found out there's a na uh, planet Namek. So Planet Namek has an original Dragon Ball. Original Dragon Ball. So they went to Planet Namek. And then, you know, they saw, you know, the people who look like a pickle, right? But we were so, we got so shocked when we saw those, those guys. Frieza and Dodori, Dodori and uh, Zabo, you know? And then what he said is this. And then, uh, yeah, Ginyu Force. Yeah, you know, everything made us so excited, you know, this is like, you know, I would say like, you know, the beginning of, you know, Dragon Ball, like, you know, becoming popular, yeah, and then, you know, Frieza said, my power level is 530,000, wow, so strong, right, 530,000, and then, you know, he also said, I can transform, transformation, this is transformation one, so he got trans transformation two and three and a final formation, right? So we were like, what's going on next? What's going on next? So I still remember when I was this little, like, you know, Dragon Ball, like, after Dragon Ball, like, when we went, to, when, when I go to school, like, in the class, we were talking about, like, we were talking about Dragon Ball. Wow, did you see? Frieza said his power level is 530,000. You know, that made us so excited. And then what happened is this, transformation two. You know, he, be, he become like bigger. Transformation three, and this final formation, right? Wow, who can win? Who can beat Freezer? Nobody, we thought. But what happened was this, Goku just became Super Saiyan, you know? And then Goku won. 
So at the time, Akira Toriyama, he thought this is the highest moment of Dragon Ball Z. So he actually was, he was going to finish Dragon Ball. He wanted to finish. But what happened was his surrounding just stopped him. You know why? At the time, Dragon Ball was making a lot of money. You know, they were making a lot of money. So not only anime, they got card games, a figure, whatever. Though, you know, those items were making a lot of money. So, you know, people who were surrounding him told, told uh, Mr. Toriyama, Mr. Toriyama, you know, if you stop writing Dragon Ball, you know what's going to happen? A lot of people are going to lose their job. So Akira Toriyama was like, he had to keep going. And then, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. And then what happened is this. Android, 1920, right? So Akira Toriyama has a manager. His, when his manager sold them, he was so mad. He was pissed. You know why? So Akira, Akira Toriyama's manager, he said, Oh, Mr. Toriyama, what is going on? He said, this is just old guy and fat guy. <laughs> yeah, his manager was serious. He was not happy at all. But imagine compared to Freezer. It's very interesting, like, my power level is 530, right? And then I can transform. I can change it to, like, you know, Freezer part two, part three, part four, final formation. So interesting. And then, like, you know, new idea, new villain was just old guy and a fat guy. <laughs> and, and then, and then, and then, Mr. You know, manager was so pissed, but you know, Mr. Toriyama was like, you know, manager, I got this, I got this, no problem, I got this. And then, next, new villains, Android 1718, manager was still not happy at all. He said, Mr. Toriyama, are you serious? Just young boy and a young girl, you know? And then, Toriyama was like, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, how about this, how about this? Android 16, manager, manager was not happy, still not happy. He said, this, this is just big guy, nothing special. You just like created old guy, fat guy, young boy, young girl, young girl, and big guy, nothing special. And then Mr. Toyama was like, how about this manager? Sell. Manager was a little bit happy. But he said, oh, Mr. Toyama, this is not bad, this is not bad, I like new idea, but I feel like this is too creepy. Manager said, too creepy? No, Biran, Biran, it, you know, it's villain, so it's okay to be creepy, right? But he was like, if manager say creepy, like, okay, I got this. How about this? Okay, I'm gonna use the transformation thing. And then, yeah, second cell. But the manager's like, yeah, it's close. But a little bit ugly, ugly, yeah. And then, okay, ugly, 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 ugly. How about this? Final formation, final cell. You know, that's how, you know, Mr. Toriyama made, you know, the cell, yeah. But Dragon Ball is so popular, yeah. Definitely, you know, for me, like, if somebody asked me what's your top five anime all time, I would say Dragon Ball. It could be number two, two, number three could be number one, but definitely, you know, Dragon Ball is top five. And then, like, same year, this one started. Yeah, Jojo. Who loves Jojo? Okay, good, good. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jojo started, uh, 1986, six, same year, you know. And then, same year, 1986. Maybe some of you guys have seen this one. Castle in the Sky. Studio Ghibli, yeah. Do you guys know Studio Ghibli? Yes. Oh, good, good, good. Studio, I will say Studio Ghibli is our Disney, Japanese Disney, you know, you, know, you know what I mean? So it's very educational, like, so we watch it, actually, we watch it, G Studio Ghibli uh, movies at school. Yeah, because it's, it's, there's no cursing expression, so, you know, it's, it's, it's safe and also, it's very educational, yeah. Each movie actually has a message, you know, like kind of hidden message. Sometimes, like, he's talking about, you know, environment, you know, pollution. So, yeah, Castle in the Sky. Who, who have seen Castle in the Sky here? Good, 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 good. Definitely my favorite, yeah. My favorite, my, my favorite, like, Studio Ghibli 
movie scene. And then also, 1986, this one came out, and how about this one? This one's also my favorite too. My Neighbor Totoro. Yeah. So, this one's also popular too, yeah. And 1988, we got actually very huge. It's a, it was actually a movie, but this one is so huge. This movie, anime, changed anime, like Japanese anime scene, history, industry. Akira, 1988. Who have seen Akira? Yet? Good, good, good. Did you guys like it? Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. But this one was so creative. Uh, you know, nowadays we're like, we got good creators. A lot of creators actually got inspired by this, you know, this movie, this, yes. <laughs> Good question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. 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 So Akira came out 1988. Okay, 1988. And then after Akira, Kiki's Delivery Service. Yeah, right here. Yeah. And then uh, this one. This is not popular at all, at all here, but so popular in Japan. Yeah. TV Marikocha. Anybody seen this one? Nobody. Are you? Are you dead? Yeah, so this one came out in 1990. And then this one. This one is huge here, too. 1992. Yu Yu Hakusho. Yes. So, the creator of Yu Yu Hakusho also got inspired by Dragon Ball. So, in Yu Yu Hakusho, they also used the, in the power level, too. Yeah. But, you know, the story is completely different. But, you know, definitely this one was so popular. Yeah. 1992. Yeah, you you have to came out. And the next one, you know, before this anime, I'm gonna show you something like after this. Be but before that, you know, anime used to be for boys. Yeah. But right now you need sex. But you know, before but this this one, I'm gonna show you something. So this one changed changed the you know anime scene too. Sailor Moon. I think officially this is the very first. It's not. It's it's not. It's not first female anime, but this one is. I would say like popular. Yeah, the one usually a female anime didn't become popular yet. It, it didn't become popular. But this one just like you know main anime unisex. Yeah. After Sailor Moon, I think people even like girls like you know watching anime too. Yeah. So Sailor Moon. Yeah. Sailor Moon came out in 1992. And then after Sailor Moon, this one. Evangelion. So Evangelion came out in 1995. Yes, this one's also a good one too. If you've never seen like, please check it out. And 1996, Detective Conan. Detective Conan, yeah. Conan came out in 1996. And then, next one. This is your favorite, yeah. Pokemon. Pokemon came out 1997. Yeah. Yeah. Pokemon came out 1997. What's his name? What's his name? But Japanese version, we don't call him Ash. Japanese version, we call him Satoshi. Everybody repeat after me. Satoshi. Yeah. Did you guys know his name is Satoshi? No, no, nobody. Who? Who knew it? Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> good job, good job, good job. Yeah, his name is not Ash. And also, this song. I never heard this song, yeah. So Japanese version, we have our own theme song, yeah. Yes, yes. And then next one. This one is also a good one, too. Cowboy Bebop. I think Cowboy Bebop made anime popular in America too. Not only Dragon Ball, yeah. So Cowboy Bebop came out 1998. So actually around 2000, we got good, so many good animation, like so many good anime. So 1998, Cowboy Bebop came out, right? And next year, this one came out, 1999, One Piece. One Piece, who loves One Piece here? Good, 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 good. One Piece came out in 1999. Yeah, and, but you know, like I said, this, th around this area, like 2000, around 2000, this era, we got so many good animation, like so many, so many. You know, 
1999, same year, Hunter Hunter also came out too. Hunter Hunter, yeah. Hunter Hunter came out. Also 2000, this one is going one too. Inuyasha. Inuyasha came out 2000, yeah. So, you know, this era is crazy. You know, same year 2000, Yu-Gi-Oh! came out too. So Yu-Gi-Oh! is like another anime that uh, making a lot of money, you know, besides Dragon Ball. You know, you know the Yu-Gi-Oh! like card games? You know, some of them has a value. So, you know, even one, just like one card costs like, a, I would say $10,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, some people are, you know, they are obsessed. Like, they, 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 they really love it. So if you go to a you know, place called Akihabara in Tokyo, they have a big department stores. Everything's, everything's anime inside, you know, they got DVDs, they got figures, you know, they got card games. If you go there, you will see those, you know, expensive, you know, cars, you know, which cost like 10,000, 5,000, 6,000, yeah. So Yu-Gi-Oh! is also making a lot of money too. And then, next one. Yeah, this is another Studio Ghibli work. Spirit Away, yes. This one was also popular too. And then, next one. Next one is this one. Naruto came out. Who loves Naruto here? Yeah, I think Japanese heroes and American heroes are a little bit different, yeah, because, you know, in general, like, heroes never cry, right? But, you know, Naruto always, he cries, yeah. But sometimes I feel like Naruto is telling us very important thing. He's teaching us or telling us how to be a man, how to take care of your people, you know, because he was trying to be Hokage, right? Hokage is like, Hokage is leader of village. You know, that means like you have to take responsibility. It's not easy. But you know, sometimes I feel like anime is like teaching you guys very important thing. What do you think? Do you guys agree? Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Naruto definitely like it's big, you know. Big, big, big anime. And then, after Naruto, this one came out. Brotherhood, yeah. So this is 2003. Naruto came out 2002, right? Yeah, this year is crazy. And then Bleach. Who loves Bleach? Ble oh yeah, yeah, good, good. Bleach came out 2004 and 2006. Gintama. Gintama came out. Gintama came out. And and then 2009, this one came out. Fairy Tail. Yeah, Fairy Tail also popular, you know, anime in Japan too. Still popular. And then 2000, the same year, sort of outline, okay? This one is also popular too. And then this is my favorite, yeah. Def definitely this is my favorite, yeah. This one. Attack on Titan, yeah. Who loves Attack on Titan? Good, 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 good. I'm gonna teach you guys Japanese, okay? So, uh, Elvin, Elvin always say this. Shinzo Sasageo. So that means give your life, okay? So repeat that to me. Shinzo. Good job. One more time. Shinzo. Sasageo. Sasageo. Oh, Let's do it one more time. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. I know. Japanese is different. Shinzo. Shinzo. Good job. Sasageo. Sasageo. Can you guys say this straight? Shinzo. Sasageo. Shinzo. Sasageo. Let's do this. Shinzo. Good job, guys. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Attack on Titan definitely uh, my top five. Yeah. My top five. Yeah. Who loves Attack on Titan here? Good, good, good. Yes, I can tell you. Especially you. Yes. Shinzo <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh, I have a question for you guys. What are you guys watching? What are you guys watching anime? Do you guys prefer Japanese version or English dub? Japanese. Oh, yeah? Japanese version. Raise your hand. English dub? Sometimes. Okay, okay, okay. I, I think, you know, don't get me wrong, like, English dub is good too. You know, you know why? Because, uh, when, yeah, uh, Demon Slayer movie came out, like Mugen Train. Who have seen Mugen Train here? Yeah, good, good, good. So I went to a movie theater in Times Square, New York City. 
you know, I clearly am sure that, you know, I was, I was the only Japanese guy in that room, you know. So that was Japanese version. So everybody was watching with subtitles. So, you know, somehow, not really somehow, but, you know, some part, some scene, I was, only me was laughing. You know why? Because I was laughing because of, you know, uh, Zayn's like tone, how they talk, you, you know what I mean? Those small details, you know, it's hard to describe with subtitles. But subtitles, I don't know who did it, but great job. They did a great job. So, but, you know, second time, I, I, watched, I watched that movie three times. Second time, I watched uh, English dub. I was so amazed, you know, those, those English uh, voice actors, they did a great job. And then I didn't feel weird, you know? It was so natural, you know, when I was watching that. And then, like, when I was watching that, I was like, maybe watching anime, English dub is good for you guys because if you are reading subtitles, sometimes you might miss small details, you know what I mean? But if it is English dub, you can, you can, park, you can focus because your ears just listen, listening, right? So, you know, either way is fine. Japanese version, watching a Japanese version is also good for, good for your Japanese, you know, it might help your Japanese too. But, you know, watching, watching English dub, I think also good too because, you know, their techniques, you know, skills are right now is very good, yeah. So, next one. After, after Attack on Titan, this one. This one came out, yes. Nine, uh, this is 2014. Tokyo Ghoul, Tokyo Ghoul, yeah. This is also a good one too, Tokyo Ghoul, 2014. And same year, Parasite also came out. Parasite is also a good one too. If you guys, if you guys never seen this one, trust me, it's really good, it's really good. You can watch it on Netflix, uh, Netflix too, yeah. And then, this is a really good one. One Punch Man. So, they're very interesting. He's so strong, right? Could be too strong. He beat like, you know, any villain like with like, one punch. One punch, right? And then like, you know, at the time when, when, when this anime like, you know, came out, I was talking with my friends. So before this anime, I thought, I used to think, Goku is the strongest character, I thought. Because Goku is like so strong, right? You know, but you know, I was like, you know, talking with my friend. So Goku and Saitama, who is stronger? What do you guys think? If you think Goku is stronger, raise your hand. <laughs> Saitama is strong, stronger. Raise your hand. Ah, uh, well, so it looks like more, looks like uh, more Saitama, yeah. But yeah. yeah. It's an anime, so it's hard to, it's different anime, so it's hard to, yeah, say who's stronger, you know, because no, no one knows. Yeah, but this one is very interesting, yeah. This one, and, and, and then after One Punch Man, My Hero Academia, yeah. Who loves My Hero Academia here, yeah, good, good. Yeah, you know, this one's a really good one, yeah. I love Deku so much, you know. Deku, like, you know, he, when he was little, he looked look up the heroes, right? But, you know, he didn't have special power group, yeah. He didn't have special power. And he was asking his mom, no, mom, can I be a hero? But his mom, she knew it. He cannot be the hero because he didn't have special power. But, you know, life, you never know what's gonna happen. What happened to him was he met All Might and All Might gave it to him. So, yeah, Deku is like telling us, sometimes I feel like telling us, you know, nothing is impossible, you know? You could be anybody, you know? So, yeah, it's very uplifting anime, yeah, to me, yeah. So, My Hero Academia came out uh, 2016. And 2019, this one's also a big one too. Demon Slayer, yes. I would say after Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, Demon Slayer is like the most popular anime in Japan. Especially when Mugen Train, the movie Mugen Train came out. We have a, you know, in Japan, we have a, we have a Demon Slayer moment. So everything was Demon Slayer, you know. Even like convenience stores, like even drink, whatever, like, you know, if you, you, they got like, you know, Tanjiro on the top, you know, the label, you know. So, Demon Slayer, definitely popular anime in Japan. And then after, the same year, same year, same year, same year, this one also came out. Yeah, Promise Neverland, yes. 
Yes, and then also this one is a good one too. Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen came out. 2020, yeah. Yoichi Tenkai, yeah. So, I, so 2020, you know, Jujutsu Kaisen is still like going on. This one's also popular too. And then, after Jujutsu Kaisen, Tokyo Revengers, yeah, Tokyo Revengers came out. Yeah. And then right now, Spy and Family 2022. Also, you know, I don't have a pictures, but you know, Chainsaw Man came out. So you know, anime is like not only it's not popular, not only popular in Japan right now. It's popular in, in America, South America, Europe. And I just want to tell you guys, thank you for supporting our culture. You know. You know, anime is like part of our culture, you know. So your support like helps helps help us a lot. Yeah, I uh I play music, you know, as a DJ and a singer at the anime conventions. So you know, anime is actually providing me job right now. You know, I was in Chicago last week, you know, this week I'm I'm, I'm here in Texas and next week I'm going to Arizona. So yeah, you know, I just appreciate you guys, you know to support our culture and yeah make sure come back here for cosmic contest also eight o'clock outside i'm gonna have a concert anime anime theme concert okay thanks for coming out